Our presence on site with the stemming has, has um, opened up other opportunities for us. So a lot of the mine companies will try to use existing vendors on site for other services. So our offering, I guess, has increased to provide water carts, dewatering trucks, um, shot utes, and vacuum trucks to the, to the mining companies. They're all specialised machines. Like our vac truck isn't something that really you would use in a in a civil or a domestic situation, it's it's really you. It's just specifically built with changes and modifications for what they actually need to do with it on, on the mine site. Our offering now encompasses a, a, a much wider range of equipment. Our largest client in the west would be Rio Tinto. They ran a study within the business where the sites that had our stemming trucks had fewer misfires than the sites that did, and the decision with, for the business was to, to own stemming trucks on every one of their sites. We've got a, a variety of clients within Australia. We've got two segments. We've got local government, which is uh, local councils and shire councils. And then we're, in the resources sector, we work for the majors across Australia, from, from WA, New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland. Some of our clients in that sector are BHP, Glencore, Rio Tinto, Fortescue Metals, Roy Hill, Whitehaven, those types of players, right down to smaller contractors and family owned companies as well. Yeah, we've got a broad spectrum of customers, but we've got a, a base with some of those majors. Because our customer base is spread across Australia, our head office is in Brisbane, so this is where we do our manufacturing. We've got a lot of clients up in the Bowen Basin in central Queensland, so we've got a reasonably large service facility up there. Uh, we run about uh, six mechanics there. And we've also just recently opened a warehouse in Perth for dispatch of parts into WA, the Pilbara, etc. so that we can get those parts out quickly from that side of the country. Oh, it's, it's essential to have a presence in those markets. Those mining customers and local government customers, um, they demand a pretty uh, high level of service and so you really have to have you know, boots on the ground, so to speak, to be able to deliver those services to them. Globally, we have a, um, a partnership that's been very successful in South Africa, Cobra Projects in, in Johannesburg. It's a little bit of a different model over there than anywhere else where they build the machines themselves. So our international uh, expansion strategy would be into both road maintenance and mining, and it's probably 50% turnover in each one of those sectors. We have uh, manufacturer under licence in uh, South Africa. Um, we export to the UK and we export to South America as well. So our vision is to eventually have more of those products going straight out of the Philippines directly to those international customers. We're trying to increase our, ch our channels of customer so that um, we've got a more diversified customer base and, and more stability. So yeah, Latin America is looking pretty exciting. They've got a mining industry there that's actually bigger than here. Plus North America, more for the road maintenance side of things. You know, the export market for us is a is a big part of our growth strategy. So yeah, there's pretty much half the world's GDP over there. <laughs> so it's a pretty big market. So yeah, it's a, great, it's a great team. It all comes together. Everyone's got their role. Um, it, it doesn't work without any one part of it not working efficiently. Not everyone has to know that the whole system, but they have to understand that their part of it contributes to making the whole thing come together in the end. But yeah, we've got a good team. It's great.